wonder if he'll give me my money back. What's going on, guys? Team Mechanic here. Uh, I'm sure I look a little distorted. The sun is kind of right in my face. But um, anyway, right behind me is something that I think is uh, pretty cool. I, uh, I know I said in my last video uh, of the uh, 73 Eldorado that uh, I might be getting a new project uh, pretty soon. And uh, that's this. So uh, I, uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, you know what? I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just, uh, let's just look at it. So this is a 1978 Dodge Monaco. For some reason, I keep wanting to call it a Pontiac, but uh, it's definitely not a Pontiac. This is a Dodge Monaco. It's not a Grand Monaco, Royale Monaco. It's none of that stuff, but uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I've got nothing but negative feedback so far, so if you're interested <laughs> in giving me any feedback, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. Uh, I love it, and that's really all that matters. Well, you know, unless I'm not providing good content uh, for the channel, then... Let me know, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? <clears throat> I've got a lot of things planned for this thing in uh, in the very near future here. Sorry if there's any background noise. There's uh, some people moving over there. <clears throat> but uh, let me just take you off of here. All right, yeah. So this is uh, this is something that I got at a very good price, um, and I I think it's. Uh, uh, you know, I like it. I think I got a good deal. I um, This thing here uh, was listed for $1,400. It was the only one that I could find in Western Canada. And uh, it was listed for $1,400. I got it for $950. $950. Which is more than I would have liked to pay. But you know what? I thought this is a good project. Although uh, it's currently, I think it's minus, minus 25-ish right now. So... Uh, I'm not gonna. I, I was planning, you know, the first video was to kind of look it over because I, I really barely did any digging into this car. Uh, I just looked it over a little bit. It comes with all of its original documentation, which I think I'll show uh, in one of these videos. But it, uh, it, it it's a pretty cool car. I haven't really, you know, I didn't really check the frame for all that much rust. So for all I know, I could have gotten something that's got a ton of rust on it. But uh, tires, as you can. Probably most definitely see are completely ruined, dry rotted to pieces. These hubcaps are original Dodge hubcaps, except for the one on the opposite side is from a Chrysler. Uh, I don't know, Imperial or something. But uh, I'll go ahead and shut that. We'll look at the inside in a second. Dog legs shot. Rockers are uh, not. Uh, rockers are shot, but the uh, rear quarter panels there are also shot. Sorry about the focusing issue. The last video had quite a bit of focusing issues as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, I apologize for that. That was pretty bad. Uh, I have the original keys. It came with all of its original keys uh, for the trunk, for the gas cap, for the doors, for the ignition, obviously. So all that stuff's not all that, uh, all that much, uh, really all that noteworthy. But um, <coughs> down here, it also has to be cut out and re-welded in. That's, uh, that's real bad. Frame does look solid from where I can see, though. Like, if you look right there. The frame looks pretty solid, so we'll find out. It's missing its... What the hell is this? Oh, that's twists, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. The tires are white walls, so I guess it looks pretty cool, but these things, oh, every single tire has got to be replaced on this car, which is no, not surprising at all. It's got a nice, uh, nice size gash through the door. Not, uh, not that word either. Here's that Chrysler hubcap right there. I'm not sure what that's from. Maybe an Imperial or or who knows. I really don't know. Um, I'm going to climb up here. <sighs> so you can see uh, it's pretty frosty out. My uh, hands are kind of freezing off. But um, if you see this hood here, it's definitely what most people call patina. <laughs> I, I kind of like it. You know, I thought about just throwing a uh, uh, flat finish clear coat on here and just kind of taking a look at, you know, Maybe seeing seeing what I can do because I don't mind the patina look. Um, I don't know. I, I can't I can't really decide. I'd have to I'd have to think about it. If I choose not to go with the patina look, I'd have to uh, paint the car, which would definitely make for some good content. Um, I think I'm not really an auto body guy, but we'll see. So this here's the 318, pretty standard or 5.2 if you're living in Canada, just like I am. Uh, but they still called it the 318. Um, alternator seems bad on it. Uh, battery's got less than a volt in it. Um, 
it uh, if you jump it and you take the cables off, it dies kind of just like that thing right there, um, which you don't really know about. Anyway, you can see there's a connector kind of hanging off of the alternator right there, and I'm not so sure what that is. It could be uh, could be something pertaining to maybe the uh, anti-working of that, but I, I don't know. This here is uh, pretty cool right there as well. That's a little uh, fender um, turn signal marker. I've always loved those, and they put those in older cars. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it uh, one of the selling points was that this thing here was uh, still with the car. This here's the uh, original battery, like it's a, th they call it the thermal guard, just kind of keeps the battery isolated from the cold. Uh, and it's also combined with the uh, washer fluid there, as you can see. So that's that's pretty cool that this, that it still has that. Coolant, I'm not going to take it off right now because it's too cold. I mean, yeah, it's freezing. Um, but it's full of green coolant. Um, it has the... Uh, the kind of the first years of that anti spark control system uh or anti spark <laughs> electronic spark um the lean burn system has been removed from this car which i um hold on sorry about that which i like i like that it doesn't have that stupid lean burn system uh speaking of burn my fingers are kind of burning off right now cuz it is minus 25 uh, so I'm going to go put some gloves on, I think. All right, so I got some gloves on. It's kind of hard to operate this camera stuff, but it is what it is. So uh, I haven't actually taken this cover off yet. Let's see if I can do that now. Um, yeah, here's the carb. Anyway, um, he said it's fairly easy to prime, although it does need a new battery for sure. Uh, a new alternator, too. Um, that's not really to do with priming it, but, um, you know, it's, uh, definitely got to be done. Uh, this here is that, uh, valve that has come off. I wonder if I can just kind of do that, just for now. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know, it's, it's in okay shape. The biggest issue with this car is that the brakes don't work. Now... Uh, I believe it has a super hard pedal, which I think is either this check valve here or something to do with the vacuum line. And I don't know where it goes, so I'll have to follow the line. That's going to be in a different diagnosis video of some kind. But, you know, I mean, it's 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 pretty greasy, pretty oily. Um, but what do you expect? It's, it's, what is it, 42 years old? 43 years old now. This hood it needs a little persuasion. Don't want to bend or don't want to kink or bend the hood. The hinges are not super great. There we go. It's not like one of those Chevy hoods where you have to walk it down. It's uh, it's it's a uh, strange setup. Oh. Anyway, I think the time has come where we can take a look inside. Can't start it in this video, which really sucks. If you want to see and hear this thing run as I do, I haven't really heard it, um, stay tuned, because I'm going to be starting this thing and uh, getting it all running. Uh, it even comes with its original tags on the door, which uh, is pretty well preserved. Uh, I was under the impression that this was some kind of robin egg blue interior, which I think is the case, but as you can see here, without me even really telling you, these seats are absolutely destroyed. So are those. Um, actually, if I show you there, those seats are just absolutely ruined. So it needs new seats all around the entire car. Steering wheel's ruined. I'm not too worried about the steering wheel. Uh, dash pad's ruined. I'll never find a dash pad for the thing. So honestly, this thing's kind of a beater. A beater. Actually, you know what? It's not a beater with a heater because the uh, heater doesn't work, I don't think. Um, <laughs> So, radio doesn't work. That, I have to fix the radio. I cannot have a car that doesn't have a working radio. But it has all these options here for the rear defrost and whatever else is there. Um, lights, of course, high beams and low beams, are, that all works. Uh, here's your climate control. Look at that. It even adjusts the... That is so cool. You can see, hopefully you can see Right in there. If I go ahead and push, move this vent thing around, I can't really see it. Can't see it very well. This camera doesn't want to focus. That is cool because it adjusts that vent there, which is pretty awesome. I'm not sure what this thing does. 
looks like some kind of antenna thing that comes out of the radio, honestly. Um, but, uh, yeah, parking brake release. That works. Um, this brake pedal's just... I mean, honestly, it's halfway depressed, and it doesn't really go down any further, so super hard brake pedal, but... No, no, no. I think it's pretty cool. <coughs> I wish it did have those little... Uh, Oops, I left it zoomed in the whole time, didn't I? Sorry about that. I wish it had the um, little vent window there, but if the crank still works, which is cool for 1978. I mean, the cranks don't break, which is kind of why I like them. Um, this thing definitely needs a lot of work. Uh, if we go ahead and stand up here, uh, this roof, yeah, this roof used to be vinyl. You can see there's some vinyl remnants. I was, um, it's, I heard something that could be interesting, uh, and that's bed liner, match it to the color and put bed liner on it, but I don't know if I'll do it, um, we'll see. Also, you guys have to let me know what you want to see with this thing, Got a nice ashtray for you, just in case your kids need to smoke, window seems kind of locked up, there we go, nope, it still works, oh, that's nice. Cracking the headrest, I saw that in the pictures. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, right in this door gets caught. I remember that uh, right down somewhere. But yeah, I forgot about this. There was some trick to it, but you gotta you gotta push it. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm feeling like I just want to leave it open. But it's right there that it gets stuck. I see it. There we go. Okay, that's a nice way to show it. But uh, hey, you know what? Let's uh, let's pop the trunk here. I'll uh, see if I can grab these keys out. So it comes with all of its original Chrysler keys. This tr I I don't have the original all the original keys on it because I don't want to lose those. Knowing me, I'll lose them. Oh, come on, this one takes a little persuasion. It works at the end of the day. All right, so here is wow. So here's the inside of the trunk. It comes with its original floor mats, which is pretty cool. It's got that uh, anti-corrosion uh, warranty uh, conserver there. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. I uh, wonder if I took it back to the uh, Chrysler dealership in Saskatchewan uh, and uh, got that uh, got that all. F see if they could fix that for me. It's covered under warranty. This here is the original Lean Burn carburetor. They still have it, which is a two barrel. It was converted to a four barrel. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'll really do anything with this. If any of you want a two barrel Lean Burn piece of crap carburetor, I mean, it works fine, but it's a Lean Burn, then uh, come talk to me. It's got all these uh, electronic ignition stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. This, this is kind of cool. Uh, Got, it even got its original plate for the uh, carburetor there. It's got another anti, or another, I keep calling it anti-spark. This looks like a, some kind of wooden handle of some kind. There you go. But yeah, it comes with lots of vacuum lines. Um, this is probably a vacuum leak. It's got to be, the brakes have to be a vacuum issue. I really don't really see what else it could be. There's the original paint color right there. Beautiful blue. Um, there's a... Um, I have all of the document documentation on this car from the original owner who bought it in Saskatchewan in 1978. Uh, I'm not going to give up her name, but uh, we'll call her Joanna <laughs> or something. <laughs> First name that popped in my head. Anyway, uh, Joanna bought this car in 78, and uh, she traded in a 67 blue Pontiac four-door. And I heard from the previous owner that she has a theory that blue is her favorite color. And I don't think she's too far off because this uh, seems like this is pretty blue. And, uh, you know, it, uh, so all of the documentation was in there, actually. I took it all out so it didn't freeze or anything, but um, it was all in there. Yep. It was all in there. Everything seems to work pretty well. All the latches. Yep, of course. But anyway, this has been quite a long video already, but... Uh, Regardless, I mean, there's not really much else I can do. I'll wait till tomorrow, see if it warms up, or even later today, see if we can jack it up and do a full inspection and see if there's any rust. I, I really hope there's no rust on this thing. If there's any rust, that would just be so sad. Um, 
but uh, you know, we'll see. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video, nonetheless, and uh, if you did, leave a like on it. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Don't just dislike it to spread negativity, though. Uh, let me know how I can improve in the comment section below. I'm definitely open to feedback. Um, anyway, if you want to see more on this and more like this, like I said, that's 73 Cadillac. That needs some work, too. Uh, so if you want to see content like this with these uh, older, uh, what do you call them? What is Tyler Hoover calls them hoopties, but, uh, or hoopties. But, um, you know, and uh, also uh, this YouTuber I watch, uh, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Uh, he, uh, I think he's got to be my favorite YouTuber because uh, he kind of does the same thing. He has the same philosophy. Sorry, it just occurred to me that my camera decided to quit on me again. That happened in the last video, too. Anyway, that's a pretty cool screenshot is what it's saying. But uh, anyway, yeah, he just, uh, he buys these older cars at Copart. I, I like Copart, too, but this one I found on Kijiji. But, um... Oh boy, there's the frame. I don't know. Looks okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he buys these old cars and uh, fixes them up. Uh, maybe he doesn't even really fix them up. Kind of enjoys the patina just like me. He has a 59 Coronet, which is pretty cool. He also had a Fury and uh, a bunch of other older Chrysler products, kind of like this one. So I just came across this one by fluke. I've always liked the Monaco. My dad used to own a Monaco. Uh, way back in like in the 80s before I was born like way back then <laughs> no, but uh, you know in the 80s before I was born it's the case and uh, he owned one and he didn't like it at all <laughs> but I do because I uh, I like old man cars and uh, yeah I don't know I this one seems like s s a lot smaller but anyway I'm talking way too much if you enjoyed the video give it a like like I said uh, thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you want to see, uh, especially with these cars. And that truck, uh, I don't think you're going to want to see anything on that thing because that's going to be sold, uh, hopefully. really hope that gets sold. Uh, it needs a new alternator, too, so i got to do that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, oh, there's my tripod. Anyway, <coughs> hope you enjoyed, like I said. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.